Here's an all. Not a huge lot to report today, I'll be honest. Did this pillar here. Um, that piece clad in. I've still not done that window. I'm just going to leave that tomorrow. It's going to be my tomorrow job. Uh, at the back there, you can see there's a trim across the top. Um, looks like I've not done a lot, but that took a long time. Um, the trims around the skylights are now back in, uh, and they've got a wood trim on the inside, which is not what they had before. They had an awful carpet. Uh, but no, it's, look, the ceiling's looking like a bit more finished now. Now it's got the trim on it. Um, I've just wired the remote up to the lights, so here we have lights off, lights on. And then, uh, you can't really see it on camera, but you can turn the brightness down. 100%, um, 50%, 25%, and then even lower. But again, the camera kind of adjusts, so you can't really see it properly, but there we go. Oh dear. I mean, there's been a lot of time consuming jobs today, so it looks like I've not been that productive, but I have still been going non-stop. Just little cuts, little cuts, and this this is such an awkward shape as well. I'm having to figure out a way to still clad down that, but then still clad down the normal way. Um, I don't really want to leave. It. All right, bloody hell! Just pressed the remote by mistake. I don't really want to leave much carpet showing uh, any more than what you can see there, really. Uh, and then the tiny bits around the, the window frame. That's the maximum I want to leave. Even these little pieces here will be changed, um, and then the door card will be um, clad. Same with the rear doors. I'm going to figure out the, the the pillars at the back. I'm going to figure out cladding down those as well. Um, that might be a tomorrow job. It might be a next week job. But hopefully by next week, a lot more of the parts will arrive. I need to go up on the roof in a bit and uh, seal up some uh, holes uh, from the air vent. I think I'm in a sick flex, so I've got some more roof sealer. Oh dear. But anyway, what a, a busy day. Again, it's not. Yesterday was such a big change because you saw such a lot. Uh, it, visually, you could see a lot had been done, but today you can't really see too much. But um, having power. To the lights is a biggie. I mean, the, the vans are completely changed already. Just the feel of it uh, feels warmer, feels brighter. Not just because of the lights, it feels brighter because the lighter wood it feels much more homely already. Anyway, well, let's get let's just skip to tomorrow. Right, I'm back, it's now Friday, so day four, the beginning of day four. Uh, yesterday I finished cladding down here. I need to tackle this awkward bit here today. <laughs> uh, I also need to do the window uh, fascias, I guess, the little window ledge bits around the outside. But more importantly, I boarded that window off. So, I bought this stuff from Wix which got rid of the window tint glue in seconds. <laughs> well, not seconds, minutes, but like not 40 minutes like that one. That one took me like 40 minutes just to get the glue off. And that one took me maybe 10 minutes to get the glue off. So it saved me a load of time. Now that's done. So hopefully today, all of this will be boarded. Um, yeah, hopefully today it's all gonna be boarded. So then if the customer wanted to paint it over the weekend, um, when I come back on Monday or Tuesday, I can start tackling this bed. I may even start tackling the bed today. I'm going to wait for the bed frame or the bed lats to, to arrive before I do too much on it. Uh, I want to get the measurements right on that. Uh, but we're cooking with gas now, aren't we? What do you think? Now I've added these trims back on as well. Just makes the whole thing, finishes the ceiling off a treat. And bear in mind, go back to the original video when I 
first came to this van, how many holes there were in the ceiling for spotlights, fans, speakers, all kinds of stuff. It was literally like Swiss cheese, Swiss cheese ceiling. Uh, and now it's not, it's only got the holes for the skylights and then the uh, roof lights in. It's gonna make things easier working in the evening now. I've got the lights um, wired up as well, which is a Brucey bonus. So, clad, 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 clad. Obviously this isn't cut yet and they're not cut yet. I'm just working on this pillar here. Now because of the odd shape, there's no other way of doing it, but I actually quite like that, how that wood splits down there. I hope you, I hope you at home like it. Uh, I'm sure the customer will like it. They're coming down soon, so. But yeah, uh, I'm just trimming these pieces here, this piece. I'm gonna go all the way to the floor, even though potentially there's gonna be something blocking this bit, but I want to do a right nice job of that. So it's all sanded and stuff. This has all been done uh, pretty much with the multi-tool. What a great thing, what a great investment that was. By far the best thing I own now. Um, yeah, got a fair way to go today before I finish this cladding, but I'm happy with progress. Okay, so the customer came and I don't film while people are around because I'm too shy. So I just wanted to see, I wanted to give you an update on where I am right now. Uh, I've put the window sills in, so it's finished those off. Um, did this bit here that I was quite proud of. It's a bit of a, a weird shape and a cool looking thing. Uh, window frame on that one. Uh, and as you can see, I've started on the bed frame. Now, uh, there's no supports on it yet. I know there's no supports on it, so you don't need to comment saying there's no supports on it and it's not going to be strong enough. I know it's not going to be strong enough, <laughs> right? So <laughs> I've put it there so the customer can see uh, what the bed's going to look like and how long it's going to be because uh, they're going to order a mattress. So it is just for, for, for purposes of looks at the moment. Um, plus, I need to get under there to do the electrics soon anyway, so this needs to come out. Uh, but also it's to gauge size because again uh, they're having another four they're having another double bed essentially here but it's going to be seats that fall down to a double bed so uh, so we can gauge really I think another four foot six comes out to about here so all this is going to be seating which I think is really good a really good idea actually I would have never never thought of that having two full double beds because uh, that's a huge seating area as well obviously it's a not obviously, not obviously to you. Um, it's a family who've got a, a, a son who is uh, bloody tall. Um, so he's gonna have a full double bed when he comes and then they're gonna have a big, big table. I think that's an amazing idea. Uh, I just hope I can do this, uh, do, do it justice. But I hope you can see how good it's looking now. Again, this is, this is just coming to the end of day four. I'm only gonna do it in about another half an hour before I clock off, but End of day four, I think it's looking pretty damn good. Uh, I'm really happy with it, actually. And uh, again, I've said this in a previous video, I wish I put this much effort into my own van, to be honest. Like, and, and, and all jokes aside, I'm tempted to rip my van out and start again. Um, because I, I'm, I'm picking up so many new things or new ideas. Uh, I'm jealous. I'm jealous of all this these nice vans that I'm doing so watch this space my van might get ripped out soon um, anyway I'm gonna have to leave you for now um, I hope you're enjoying it click subscribe if you want to see more van builds and, and, and see the finish of this uh, there's still tons to do so there's plenty of YouTube videos to watch uh, and I'll see you soon uh, have a good one Love you all. Bye, Felicia.